welcome to Coletta Motorsports. Well, uh, awesome. as you can see, we've been racing for a long time. This is just a small selection of some of the trophies they've won in that time. My name is Jim Oberhofer, and I'm the Vice President of Operations of Coletta Motorsports. You know, when I started here back in 1988, we had five employees. We ran two race cars out of the same trailer. And now we have 65 employees. We have eight semi trucks and trailers going down the road. We have a CNC shop now. We have a chassis shop. We have a repair shop that we do all our repairs of all of our parts on. So this is our new shop. We just barely got all the machines put in and wired up. And everything you see here is basically the vision of Connie and Jim, who you're going to meet in a little bit. Awesome. This place is clean. I love it, man. For both myself and our owner, Connie Coletta, we believe in investing in our company, and we believe that we invested the right way by buying all these brand new Haas CNC machines. We're very, very proud of the CNC shop that we have here. Connie's a guy who likes being very self-sufficient. It's taking care of yourself. I control my own destiny. I can do it as efficient as anybody else. All I need is the hardware to do it. I have the talent to do it. And that's why we have these five machines here that we just purchased. You're talking self-efficient. I mean, that's like our country, right? I mean, if we're manufacturing and manufacturing built this country, we should be self-sufficient and be able to make our own products here and make it cheaper. And that's what you guys are doing right here. So it's kind of like the model can actually be used on a bigger scale, right? Absolutely, and we're, we're here in, you know, basically in Detroit, the Motor City, where, Motor City. where our manufacturing pretty much started back with Henry Ford. And Tim here, I think he's become Connie's favorite employee. He, yeah. he just fell in love with the idea he had to create a, a beautiful CNC shop for Coletta Motorsports. Great job. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's awesome. Tight, let's go check out the rest of the shop. I want to show you our race car that goes 330 miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, can't wait. Let's check it out. You know, Titan, we moved in this building in 1999 and we had the back corner of the shop there and Connie was going to try to lease out the remaining 30,000 square feet. I told him, I said, you can't do that. I said, we're going to fill this whole place up with race car stuff someday. That's awesome. And he looked at me like I was crazy. And, and here we are basically 16 years later, we filled up this whole shop with four race car teams, a CNC shop, a chassis shop. And I told Connie, I said, we're out of space. We need another building. Another and he looked building. at me like I'm crazy. That's awesome. It's very important to show all these awesome companies and to show people that machine shops is not this grimy, greasy, crazy place. It's clean floors, automation, high-tech machinery, good pay. That's what you got right here. That's yeah, awesome. we want to be cleaner than a hospital room. That's it. That's it. Manufacturing. It's, it's pretty amazing, you know, working for a guy like Connie Coletta and all the great things he does for his employees, you know, the 65 people here at Coletta Motorsports and a thousand people work for him at his maintenance facility in Oscoda, Michigan, mm -hmm. a town that only has 3,500 people. How he just treats every one of them like they're part of his family. And then not only that, this country, the night of 9-11, he was the only non-military aircraft out in the country flying relief supplies from LA to Philadelphia. That's a man to help with, with the, what was going on. We're in what we call a CRAFT program, which is CRAFT stands for Civilian Reserve Air Fleet. It's an operation that the government has put together that they have commercial people that are out and are participating into it so that if there's ever a demand, they can ring the bell right now and we would be there with airplanes, crews, and do anything that they need to have happen. And today he continues by delivering mail to the troops over in the Middle East. and. You know, the state of Michigan, we all know the struggles that it's had and how he's trying so hard to help with the rebuilding of, you know, not only Detroit, but Michigan. My name is Steve Ortner, and I'm the owner of Mountain Machine, and Connie gave us the start in this business. We've got a 14,000 square foot shop, 17 guys, and 15 CNC machines. A lot of the work that we have now used to go overseas, and through high-speed machining and our processes, we've been able to be competitive, not only competitive, but able to beat the prices in China and give a much higher quality part to our customers than what they were ever receiving from overseas. It just makes you feel good to work for a guy like, like Connie and, and the things that he's doing to try to help make this country great again. All of this, all the planes, all the employees, and he's just a humble, awesome man. Yeah, you would never know 
that this man owns a you know over a billion dollar a year company. I'm in awe sometimes just meeting everybody and yet we're just all builders, makers, making things happen. Yeah. It's awesome. Man. That's Connie's motto. He's, you know, he says we make things happen. Solving problems. That's right. That's what we do. That's right. Uh -huh. Titan, what we're doing right now is we're getting ready for the next race in Sonoma. Putting a brand new short block in, ready to go. Cylinder heads, manifold, supercharger, and then the new spacer plate that you, you built for us. Awesome. And then we're gonna go to town. And it's amazing, in between rounds at an NHRA event, these guys, we can make a run, come back, tear the engine completely apart, put it back together, and have it running in less than 30 minutes. Wow. And uh, these guys are truly amazing. It's organized chaos. Mm. And there's eight guys around an engine and they all know how to fit in perfectly. It's like a puzzle that works very well together. A lot of viewers, they look at it and it's just so much horsepower and the fire and like this thing blazing. They don't really see the art and how intricate everything is. The fabrication is just absolutely beautiful. And I mean, it's a big car. It's dangerous and your driver's life is in your team's hands, right? You know, our drivers are our family as well. And, and you know, Doug Coletta that drives this car, he's, he's like a brother to us. And when you're going 330 miles an hour in a matter of 3.7 seconds and you have 10,000 horsepower behind you, you want to make sure that he's safe and that there, nothing can go wrong. And these guys take a lot of pride in making sure that Doug is safe, you know, going down that racetrack. It's amazing. It is. Like, this whole company is amazing. It's awesome. And it has a lot to do with you, along with Connie Coletta and the whole family. And uh, I just want to shake your hand. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ty. I really appreciate it. Thank you.